All right, hello, Wayne. I'm going to see if we can't uh, show you how to set this thing up. <clears throat> so, first thing I'll do is turn on the radio. I've got, I have the... Um, First thing we're going to do is connect. Now, what you have to do is make sure that you're on the right. Oops, let me put this thing on here too. Let's see. Let's start recording. Let's call it Wayne. Okay. All right. We're going to. Um, first thing we're going to do is hook up your steady drone to the uh, mission planner. I plugged in the battery and I'm going to be running this over the, uh, the radio, the wireless radio, which is the telemetry radio from the quad. Um, first thing you want to do after you have your transmitter turned on and your battery plugged in is make sure you got the right COM port. Now, we don't have any COM port right now and the reason for that is because I have not plugged in the radio. So, let me just plug the radio in, or the uh, receiver, into my computer. Okay. All right, let's see if we have a COM port now. Okay, we do. We have COM port 10. So we're gonna choose COM port 10. You have to be sure when you're connecting by the telemetry radio that you're connecting at the 57, 600, I think it is, okay, and speed. There's the different ones. The 57600 is for the, is for the uh, wireless connection, and the 115200 is for the wired USB connection. So hook up on 576, and then click on connect. Okay, these are the parameters being loaded right here. Now connected. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Um, first thing you want to do is check your initial setup here. And if you go to mandatory hardware, first off, we're going to walk right through this. A frame type. Um, this is called a V, but it's actually a special kind of V that is a wide angle V for the, um, for that quad. And that is correct. Compass. <coughs> now we have, uh, the compass is located on the APM board, so we're going to select that. And everything else is going to be a live calibration. Um, so we just leave that the way it is. Okay, we're going to calibrate the accelerometer. We're actually using ArduCopter 2.9, so you want to uncheck 3.0, because I have not up updated it to a 3.0 yet. In fact, I probably won't for this. Um, and then go ahead and click the calibration. Uh, Okay, you want to make sure that the quad is level. It'll tell you what to do. With it. Let me just widen out the lens. So you... All right, you might be able to see this. It's a bit dark down here, but uh, we'll see. All right. So we're going to place the uh, quad in a level place. And click when done. It says place in a level place. Press any key. So I'm going to just use the space bar. Okay. Oops. Now it says to put it on its left side and press any key. So we're going to put the quad on its left side. 
press the space bar, right side, okay, nose down. my computer or something else going on here. On its back. Okay. Let's move on. Radio calibration. Use your radio. We're going to calibrate the radio. things in the, to the ends of its positions. You can see the throttle and the yaw are the two that are working, which is correct. Over here you've got your elevator and your ailerons, or pitch and roll in the case of this stuff. Okay. We also have a couple switches that we're going to be using. So I'm just going to run through some different switches here just to be sure. In case anything else is connected. So we're using switch C for our modes. Let's see it moving. Okay. Quick one done. And that will give you all your <coughs> different uh, radio frequencies for the different channels. Alrighty. Flight modes. We want to be sure that we're going to be running in stabilized, loiter, and then return to land. So on switch C, we're going to go where it's, it's, it's on stabilize. It's on loiter, it's on return to land. So all the way down is stabilize, middle is loiter, top is return to land. Now if you ever lose control and GPS doesn't seem to be working properly, you want to bring that into your uh, stabilized mode and manually fly it back. Um, some things can happen, you know, interference or uh, who knows what, gremlins. And if that happens, you want to get it off of a uh, GPS mode as much as you can and so that you're actually flying it. Okay, we you also we're gonna set you up with simple mode when you're on stabilize, okay? So when you're flying stabilize, you'll be on simple or I can do it on loiter. Let's see what would be the best. Why don't we make it on the loiter? That way it'll be a real simple way to fly it. You let go of your sticks, it'll just, and then they're in the middle and it'll just uh, hover. And then if you lose uh, a sense of orientation, you bring your stick back and it will come back to you regardless of the orientation, meaning where the nose is facing. It doesn't care, it will just come back, even if it's sideways. Okay, we're going to save these. Okay. We're going to double check fail safe and be sure it's working properly. The way I'm going to do that is we can do two things. First, let's check the return to land and see what that does. Well, it doesn't do anything on when we're on the screen, does it? Okay. Let's just turn off the radio and see what happens here. Now what you should see is this uh, radio, this is a throttle here, that you go up into the middle point, and then uh, the rest of your, all your controls should be right around the middle, and uh, that means that it will be returning to home over here. But let me just uh, try this one more time. Get rid of this. Uh, Let's see now one more time. Take the radio. And we're flying more than 50%. Turn it off. Oh, it's because we got no fix right now. Alright, let me go see if I can get this thing uh, outside there. So I can get a satellite or two. see something. Let's see how many 
satellites we have here. And then we have three satellites right now. This is not the best place to, oh here it is, seven satellites. That should be enough to get a log. So let's go back. So we're gonna I'm actually gonna arm it and see what happens. Okay, so it's I can hear it running out there. And we're gonna turn it make sure we got everything in the right. Okay, stabilize, turn off the radio, return to land. Okay, now it's gonna keep running until we turn this back on. I can hear it running outside. Got the transmitter back on and stabilize. The motors just stopped, I heard them. Okay, so they are again, they're running. So everything is working pretty well. Um, it's going coming back to home. It's going on and off as it should. Uh, I think we're good to go on this thing. So uh, trying to think, is there anything else I need to show you right now? I think uh, the thing to remember is always check this to return to home. So if you turn off the radio, you should see all these things right around the uh, mid position. Okay, in fact, all four of them should be around the mid position. And then it'll bring it back to you as long as you had a lock when you started. Um, okay, if you have any other questions, do give me a call. I'll see what I can do to, uh, to help you out there. But I, you should be, should be ready to go now. Um,